In this video I'm going to do a teardown of the new Amazon Echo Dot. This is the Revision 4 model and it'd be interesting to see what differences there are between this and the previous version 3s which I've done teardowns of in the past. Okay, so we'll open the box and see what we get inside. Okay, so we have the Alexa device which is wrapped in plastic and it's not very easy to, to get out of the box. An instruction manual and important information. The other side of the box uh, contains the mains power supply with a, a UK plug in this case. And it appears to use the same power connector as the other Echo models with a round plug. The Echo has a plastic wrapper, so we'll take that off to start with. And this is the, the new device with buttons on top. Power input and headphone input on the bottom. A serial number underneath. And that seems to be about it. So we'll get the tools ready and we'll, we'll take it apart and see what's inside. Okay, if it's anything like the previous versions, we'll just need to take the rubber seal off around the bottom. So it's a user splodger to look underneath. Okay, that's held down with sticky tape. And it looks like we've got the same debug port as before. It's probably USB. And four torque screws around the edge. Okay, so the screws are removed. So let's turn it back upright and see if the bottom see if it comes apart. Okay, so the top lifts off. So that gives us a appears to be a diffuser ring around the inside. Which must be to let the light out around this ring. And we have a circuit board underneath. A single metal can over one of the processors. There are four screws holding the circuit board down and some extra screws down here for a larger torque size which must hold the top on. So we'll start with taking the PCB off at the bottom. So I'll remove these four screws. A smaller size again. Well, the screws are a T5 size. Let's see how the circuit board's actually held down. There's a, a single cable underneath. Need to be lifted. Just carefully because there's components around the edge. So I lift the small flap up, the cable comes apart. We have the circuit board and there are an extra four screws here. By taking these out. The other screws falling down inside, so hopefully we'll be able to get that back. So we'll lift these apart. And this reveals another circuit board bottom. And the ribbon cable is, is taped on with some sticky tape onto the side of the metal and plastic housing which contains the speaker. I'm not sure how this will come apart, if it will at all. Can't see any screws on the bottom, so let's uh, undo the screws on the speaker and see if this will come out. That must be the T5 size again. Okay, so the speaker comes out, it's got two wires attached. 
or barcode on the bottom. Can't see anything else in the case which would take it apart further, so we'll, we'll put this bit back together for now. Okay, so I'm now trying to take the PCB out of the top half of the case. The four small screws in the bottom. And the microphone PCB seems to be held in with some glue possibly. Okay, that's glued in place, so I just have to be careful that goes back together. Two retainer pins in there as well. Okay, so that's taken out. So we'll have a look at these circuit boards under the microscope in a minute. We'll just take the shielding cans off to see what's under those. Okay, the plan to just lift off the metal shielding didn't work as it appears they're now spot welded and also soldered down to the main PCB. So I'm going to try using the hot air gun to remove the hands from the circuit board. We got the metal shield off the top section of the board which covered the CPU and the RAM. So we're now going to try taking off the metal shield off the bottom of the board and see what's underneath there. Under the microscope now and um, we'll start off looking at the small microphone board which is in the top of the unit which contains switches. The QR code will be for scanning the board, there's a microphone up right there. It is a small chip which has got a QR code on it. Microphone, ribbon cable connector. I think this board's only got a single ADC. Working under the microscope, starting at the edge of the board is one of the 12 RGB LEDs, which connect to an LP5036 RGB LED controller. Below this is the small metal can, shielding can, which was on the bottom, and there is an NQ464 chip, which appears to be memory. Further across to the middle, uh, more passive components. This the MT6398AN, which I haven't been able to figure out what that one is yet. Bottom, and coming down to the bottom edge, there is a chip next to the audio port, which is a 5805. Can't find anything online related to this chip, but maybe some sort of audio driver. On the other side of the board, we have a MediaTek NT7653BSN, which is the Wi Fi and Bluetooth chip. Leads out to antennas on the edge of the board. Here, coming back to the middle of the board, we have the main processor, 
which is another MediaTek ARM device, which is an MT8512 2B AAV and alongside this is a HNHC NNN 4G UML which is a RAM chip. The left of the board with more passive components and some more smaller ICs, power input jack, audio input jacks. The connector connect to the microphone PCB. I finished taking apart the Amazon Echo Dot Revision 4. Had some problems taking the metal shielding cans off the PCB and may have lost a couple of these small components around the antenna circuitry, so I'm not sure if the Wi Fi will work or not, so I'll test that later. I'm going to take some high resolution photos of the board and write everything in a new blog post on my blog at BrianDory.com. So if you have a look there in a few days' time, I should have everything online. I've partially reassembled the Amazon Echo device and apart from having to bridge a couple of small capacitors on the antenna circuits which had got knocked off when removing the RF shielding it appears to be working. Alexa, thank you for watching and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.